hey guys welcome back to my channel in this particular video I'll be teaching you how to make a YouTube banner for your YouTube uh, channel using Adobe uh, Photoshop CC or CS whichever one you guys have if you don't have one check out the link in the description and you can download it uh, from there okay so let's jump right into it and start the tutorial so basically uh, what you need first you need a banner template you can download that or I'll leave a link in the description so just open that uh, banner uh, template basically and this is how it looks like so now just go into choosing a particular color that you like basically uh, for your foreground color this has to be uh, I'll go for a blue one I like blue blue is my personality rather go into fill you can go ahead and uh, do a gradient one or you can do a solid color fill that's right up to you I like a solid color for my banner so this is how it fills up uh, in this particular thing I'll be using the graphic packs that I had discussed earlier also and I'll leave a link into that uh, down below as well uh, for the social media icons I'll be using that Okay, so the color is all filled in. Let's just go for a darker, darker blue. Somewhere on the purple, purplish blue rather. Uh, it's ending up looking more or less the same. Remember, you just have to bring that layer down. Okay, time to add some text, time to add your channel's name. My channel's name is Maverick. So uh, we'll just increase the uh, font point here. Uh, I'm typing the same color as this thing. Uh, don't worry. Let's just change the color. Go for white. Yep. Uh, let's go for a different font. Let's try out a different font here. Um, do we have a different one? Nope, nope, not this. It looks too plain, too bland. Let me let me just figure out, guys. You can also download uh, fonts from the net. Uh, I leave a link to that also below. Or otherwise, just go into Google Fonts and you can download those fonts and install them into your uh, computer, and automatically it will come up into your Adobe Photoshop. This is horrendous. This particular font is horrendous. Let me just figure out a good font basically. Okay, that's atrocious. That's really, really atrocious. Nah, not this font. I think this should I think this should look fine Does it? let's just center it a bit okay we'll be giving it a bit of a 3d perspective also uh, to this to our channel name essentially so that it really really stands out and we just don't have a plain bland font you know put up right there I'll just show you to how you go ahead and do that oops I think I deleted it okay let's back now okay so we go into uh, we first need to convert convert this into a smart layer object uh, the text uh, layer basically and then we need to rasterize this layer now do control T or command T select this uh, font and go into perspective so this uh, now you can like you know change it a little bit and give it a kind of a 3d effect essentially You know make it like stand out basically you can also go into the blending options and give it a stroke give it a drop shadow 
if you want uh, like uh, more of a you know a filled a color filled one you can give it a gradient overlay so essentially experiment i'm just giving you a basic outline a basic template how to go ahead and do it yeah i think that looks good that looks great uh, we'll just add the official channel decrease the font size uh, it's still a very big this thing font size I need to decrease this more okay let me just type it in what's wrong with my spellings here remember create a different layer for this heading basically also mm, let's just decrease the font I think that looks fine. That looks fine. Yeah, that looks fine. Mm. Yep. Try a different font style. See, experiment guys, experiment. Mess around until you find what you're looking for, basically. Keep messing around. Change the font, change the font size, change uh, the blending options. Okay, that takes care of the title and the subtitle, basically. So now let's open the graphic pack. I have it in my download, yeah. It's right there. We are opening that to basically get the social media uh, icons from there. Mm, yep. We'll go for the colored colored ones. Yeah. Okay. Make sure the uh, layer is visible. It's not hidden. Otherwise, you will not be able to copy from there. So, copy from there and just paste it here. Then again, Control T or Command T if you're on Mac. Increase the size of the form of the logo. Drag it down. What happened? Uh, yeah, drag it down. Okay, that is YouTube. What other social media icons do we want? Oops, something went wrong. Wait, let me let me just do it again. Okay, this is Facebook. What happened to the YouTube, didn't I? So let's do the YouTube one once again. Okay. I hope it stays there this time. See, you have a multitude of uh, options to choose from. If you are on Insta, add Insta. If you are also on Twitter, uh, on Twitter, sorry, Twitter. What a, what kind of a word is Twitter? If you're on Twitter as well, you can add Twitter also. You can add Insta. You can add a lot of other options. And it's not necessary that you have to go with this particular graphic pack whose description, uh, whose link will be in the description down below. You can search just Google graphic packs and you can uh, download any multitude of uh, graphic packs. They're all available on YouTube. They're available on Google. Go right ahead. Just type in graphic packs for Adobe Photoshop or something like that. I've also made uh, two other videos on how to create uh, YouTube thumbnails. Do check that out as well. I'll leave a description for that. Uh, I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. What is wrong with me? Why am I messing up with my words? So yeah, 
we getting installed so now yeah just align them see again I'm just reiterating guys this is a basic uh, template kind of a thing I'm just showing you how to do it but please do experiment for the blue purplish background color that I've taken you can go for a gradient uh, color for the white color fonts that you know I have added in there you can go for a different color font if you guys want that uh, mess around with uh, the font styles the uh, blending options going for stroke going for a drop shadow going for outer glow there is a gazillion things that you can do if i were to do that this would you know make it a one hour long video and uh, essentially what i just want you guys to know that you know creating a youtube banner is not at all difficult you need about say half an hour if you are a beginner and more or less i think it looks okay i i could do a better job actually but for the purpose of this video i think this will be decent enough so just aligning a little bit i think that looks fine okay just save it as uh, remember save it as a jpeg or save it as a uh, uh, a PNG whatever but the quality has to be the maximum it has to be the largest maximum uh, possible quality just remember that particular thing yeah large file just drag it there quality maximum and you're good to go yeah, I'll just show it to you I think it's yeah it's on desktop only where is it where is it where did it go yeah oops not this one where has it disappeared why can't I find it Wait, let me save it again here. Yeah. I don't know where I saved it. So, saving it as JPEG. YouTube banner.jpg Maximum quality, largest file. Ah, I probably saved it some other folder and that's it there you go this is how it's gonna look just go right into your uh, customizing your channel and just upload this and you'll be done in with thanks again guys leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to stay updated bye ciao